from Slovenia again. In today's acrylic pouring video I will show you how to use up your colors that you have mixed and you want to use them. I just had quite some blues and some purples and some greens and I decided that I will pour them all into my split cup. This is a split cup from Paint Pour Store. Um, I will pour blues here and I think pinks here and um, greens here and I will just go quickly over the colors. This is this little Piggy Pigments Twinkle that it's kind of purple blue color shift. This is TLP Toffee, TLP Waterfall, TLP Prechnite, TLP Show Pony. This is Dioxazine Purple, Sky Blue Light, Emerald. Um, this is Reflex, Reflex Green mixed with Vallejo. This is Prussian mixed with Vallejo. Uh, turquoise, no, Teal mixed with Vallejo. Conecodon Violet mixed with Vallejo. Magenta mixed with Vallejo. And this is just Prussian Blue. So I will pour my paints into the cup just in a random kind of order I will decide and I almost throw my paint so these are greens I have just three greens so I will use probably some white between those greens so I will pour greens here quite some pigments and pearls in there so I don't know how this will look like I will work on this round 12 inch round canvas and I will do a straight pour a bit of split cup from kind of up high I think
I kind of like this pattern, so I stop and I can always pour the rest of the cup on some little I will add just a little bit of white around for oop paint have place to flow because I don't want to lose some of the details. I hope that I will not lose them. I will just push my paint to the pattern. And wet my canvas a little bit. And then I will spin it out. go over with this part because I don't want to lose all the other featherings that are there so I will Gently go over and then bring it back. I think that I could use even less um, paint because I could stretch this out a little more. But now I, I don't want to lose this around so. Maybe one baby spin, but it will not mend a lot, probably. Kind of thinking to go over the edge here. With that green, because it's a little too, I don't know. And when I tell this, I see some gorgeous piggies and pearls and, and now I lost that one. So maybe now I will go over here with that part. Okay. I like the composition more now. Just go back towards the middle. Definitely, um, it would be amazing if I would have a bigger canvas or less paint, but oh my god, those. Patterns are so amazing, so I need to do more of those with a lot of paints, colors in the split cup. Let me take it down for a close-up. So here is a close-up and because of all these pearls and this little piggy pigments I got some amazing things but can you imagine how beautiful they will look even when they will be dry because there will be a ton of shimmer
with those paints. But as I said, I should know that maybe I will want to keep when it's round canvas, that's why, you know, it's, I don't know, maybe I like it this way even better. Because here it looks like, I don't know, I love it. <laughs> and I can't wait to see it dry. Oh, those, see those <laughs> little dots here, just here. And a little bit here. I have to do one like that and start in the middle with this right away. This one kind of wavy thing and go around and around and around. Stay tuned for the dry results. It's not completely dried <clears throat> but I will try to show you some details at least those on the sides these lines here are just amazing and here is a little bit of show pony <clears throat> and a little bit of that pearl magenta just so cool but the coolest thing is on the outside Oop. those are just Amazingly beautiful. Just don't like this part here. With this green part, maybe I will even go with this little piggy po show pony, maybe, and try to paint here over this one is just amazing and this one here so I like it I really do tell me what you think about it <laughs> you like it too have a nice weekend and see you on Monday <laughs>